You've probably hit up a pool this summer just to cool down, but do you know how clean that pool really is? News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs shows us how health officials make sure public pools are safe. In Davidson County alone, there are about 900 pools that we look at every month that they're open. It's summertime in the city and everyone is looking for a way to cool off. So the pool is a hot spot, but it can also be a cesspool for several bacteria. Shaking it out and this is chlorine neutralizer. Tommy Eubanks has inspected more than 70 swimming pools this year. The Department of Health is also looking to make sure the water is safe enough for swimmers. Because there are several diseases you can get from a swimming pool, including um, uh, E. coli, um, Shigella, Pseudomonas. These are diseases that Eubanks says he wants to prevent. This summer I've closed probably six, seven pools that uh, failed their inspection. Pools like this one in Melrose. A critical item could be anything from having zero chlorine or um, gl glass inside the pool enclosure or the main drain grate being broken or not secured. And that's not all the health department checks. Um, we'll always test the water chemistry, make sure that that is good. Um, we look at the life-saving equipment, um, the doors or gates. If you're not sure if the public pool you're swimming in is safe, just look for the inspection certificate that should always be visible. And today they are perfect. It is 2 and 7.4, right on the money. Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5.